Hello, Hello VIPs. <laughs> <laughs> so we are gonna make a tres leches cake. Um, we had a fabulous fiesta this past weekend, and don't mind my Taco Tuesday stuff still on the uh, stove top. Joel hasn't come and eat dinner yet. He was convinced that he had to mow the lawn immediately after work. So. Um, we're working with a little bit of a messy kitchen, but we are going to make the tres leches cake. Um, Pampered Chef had a recipe for this, and I was going to do it in my party last weekend, but it was like a lightened up version, number one, uh-uh. Uh, number two, it used coconut milk and coconut on top, and I was like, if you need that much coconut to cover up the lightened up version, maybe it's just not what we need to do. So I reached out to my VIPs, and I got responses from a couple gals who make this cake or whose family makes this cake. So we are going to kind of combine... Um, two different recommendations or recipes for this. Who closed Coco out? Can you let her out there? Yeah. All right, so Michelle in this group told me to use strawberry cake mix. So we are going to start with that. And she said, just make it just like on the box. So I was like, okay, easy enough. Um, if you do not have these chip clip and bag slicers, get you some. Because you can very easily open anything that you need to open. So I've got my Pampered Chef mixing bowl here. And we're doing the cake again, just as directed. I did pre-measure my ingredients. Gabby's helping me, I think she's gonna come back. Um, I did pre-measure my ingredients in my silicone um, crepe bowls. So I have my cake mix, I have a half a cup of oil. Gabby, I have one cup of water. And three eggs, and Gabby likes to crack the eggs, so I'm gonna let her do it. I'm gonna let you use the biggest bowl as your um, garbage bowl. Pay attention, do it slow. Can I show you? Oh, there's a shell. Yeah, because we don't want all those shells in there. And when you go, pam, 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 then you get shells in there. Did you get it out or no? no. It's okay, please hold while we locate the shell. Okay, well, we could have pulled out our stand mixer for this, but that seems like a bit big of a tool for the job for one little box of cake mix. And then I don't have that Flex Plus hand mixer, so we are going to beat vigorously for two minutes. What does vigorously mean? Stabilize the bowl. What does there vigorously mean? Just like that. Do, 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 We'll be back. All right, vigorous, okay. So, friends, we never found that eggshell, but you know what? Guess whose birthday it is this week? Mine. <laughs> so I guess it'll be like a lucky uh, thing. Whoever uh, <laughs> finds the eggshell can make a wish. Who knows? So I am pouring this cake into our nine by 13 pan that I did grease up already. If you don't own oh, this look pan. look how it pours though. Like, ooh. Um, if you don't own this pan already, it does come with a lid. It was really nice if you were gonna make this cake and take it somewhere. All right, so we are gonna bake this cake as directed on the box, which is 28 to 33 minutes. So I'm gonna start with 30 minutes. Um, and then we're gonna let it cool completely before we come back to you guys with the next step, okay? And we are back with a cooled cake. So I'm going to have my Gabby pour in, because we're gonna use our one cup prep bowls because a lot of our stuff is dirty. Um, we need a quarter cup of that milk there. So that is actually, what has she got there? Heavy whipping cream. So my other friend, Adriana, gave me a recipe for um, the tres leches cake. And her recipe um, was handwritten. So I was like, oh, this is a, a recipe passed on from generations. So um, I started with Michelle's suggestion of the strawberry cake. And I am going with, is it only one quarter? Yep. Okay. And I am going with Adriana's family suggestion of how much of the milks to put. So we are putting a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. That's a little one bit much. One can. Though. That's uh, what I was thinking you did a bit much. So what do I do? Is it fine? How much is it? I don't know. Well, I can't. I it's closer to a half. It. Just go for it, honey, because I can't pour it back in that bottle. And then we have got also our sweetened condensed milk. So again, we say there's a little whisk you can use, or otherwise a scraper to mix it all together. I'll grab some from over here. Okay. I'm just gonna grab a regular spoon. This, this? Okay. Well, I gotta get this in there too. Oh. So I think my, oh, we're stuck in that fold in the paper. 
Okay, I had to get around that. So still not turning. Did I get it all of it? Oh, haha. <laughs> Cause I have to stop once it's open. Oh, sweetened condensed milk is quite thick, huh? I've never used that in a recipe before. Yeah, but I really do think you want a whisk. So um, if you put I that spoon have away. Whisk. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you where it is. So look in the dish rack. She's a tween. She's got a little bit of a stanky attitude. What? What? <laughs> I just got a normal spoon because I didn't see it. Uh-huh. Why is it at home like that? Mm -hmm. Well, this thing. Yeah, so stir it slowly, okay? Yeah. All right. That smells like caramel. Okay, so do you want to stir that or do you want to poke the cake? Uh, I can poke the cake. Okay, then stop, please, because you're making me nervous. You're going to make a big mess. No, All right, so use the fork and poke the cake. How many times? I don't know, 100? Oh, no, it does not have to be a nice, neat, and eat, and even rose. Okay. Eat, eat, and even. Neat, even rose. It does not have to. I want to eat Poke it. all. I know you do. Save some plain spots for me. And then Adriana warned me that this is going to seem like way too much milk. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I've been warned. Maybe get some more holes over here. Because we need to pour this on slowly, I think, so that it can soak into the cake. And then tomorrow, because Michelle said to let this sit in the fridge overnight, <coughs> tomorrow we will make whipped cream to go on top. And I'll let Max slice up some straw. Okay, okay, you're getting a little out of hand. I know. Okay, back it up. Right. I need to tear up the cake. All right. So what do you think this is going to do, Max? Condense. It's going to soak it up. Yeah, it's going to soak into the cake. <laughs> oh, there's still a plain spot for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No! Who <laughs> plain spot for me? No! Max plain liked very much me. how the cake smelled oh, coming no. out of the oven. Plain spot for me. Ew, yeah, it's still there. No, no, no. I think I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to be brave and do the whole thing. No! It's going to just be soaking in milk, but that's okay. It's going to sit all night long. Tomorrow we're going to come back on and make the frosting for it, and uh, it's going to be amazing. I already have a feeling. What if it just <laughs> Gabby's tired. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi. We just finished the uh, winter con. Are you making a video? Uh, well, definitely not. We're going to come back tomorrow and finish it. <laughs> tomorrow. All right, you guys. So I am back for day two of making this tres leches cake. Um, and we are going to make the whipped cream for on top. So I've got my Pampered Chef Deluxe Stand Mixer. Um, and one of my favorite things about it is when you turn the dial to what you want to do. Oh, it doesn't like that I have it open, I think. Okay, so if I'm going to make whipped cream, I'm going to whip. And so it shows me that I need to switch uh, to this, this one, whatever you call that one. I don't know, the whippy tool, maybe is what we'll call that one. So I got to get our other one off and get our whippy tool on. Okay, and then um, I need one pint of heavy cream, which I did use some of it last night. So there's going to be a little bit less, but I figure that means it's just going to make a little bit less whipped cream. And then I've got my sugar. And then for whip, it's got a preset um, three minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm just going to press that. How about that? And see what happens. Maybe. Go. Okay. So if you notice how it's like slowly um, cranking itself up, and it says three minutes and 14 seconds. So while that's happening, let me show you the progress that we have made. So our cake was in the fridge overnight. And despite how much milk I put in there, it has absorbed itself. So that is nice. 
Um, and then again, we did the strawberry cake, and Michelle also suggested that we put strawberries on top. So I am going to cut up some strawberries with our cup slicer, not that you haven't seen it before, um, but it is still the most popular item that Pampered Chef has in the catalog right now. Um, it is taking officially five weeks to ship. Um, so I can double check the date, but as I last checked, I think they're only through orders that were ordered March 31st and before. So if you want a cup slicer, I would suggest don't wait because I don't know that it's going to get any better over the course of the summer um, because I think they're kind of making them based on the orders at this point. So here is our cup slicer if you're not familiar with it. So I will have a bunch of nicely pretty thinly sliced strawberries to put on top of my cake and then you put it in the base and it pushes the strawberries through the blades so that they are all free and then I've got pretty little thin strawberries so we've got another minute and a half on the um the whipped cream there so I'm gonna be right back and I'm sure it comes as no surprise that I have never in my life made whipped Alright, so I have unplugged my mixer so that I could reach this all the way over into the camera. Oh my goodness. Um, but the nice thing about this is it has a timer. So all I did was choose whip and start the timer. And um, it's the point is that having the timers, it's not going to over mix itself. That plop of whip is just going to... Okay. So I've got my cake. I've got my freshly homemade whipped cream. Get that all on top. Now, I don't think it's any surprise to anyone that I have never made Tris Leche's cake before, but one of my mom's co-workers' wives did for my high school graduation open house. <laughs> and now I have done it. Okay, we'll get some strawberries on top. Get it looking all pretty. I don't know how many we need. Okay, my beautiful cake. And let's see about, about slicing a piece. And I'm using my nylon knife. I don't like to scratch up my pretty little Pampered Chef pan, so. And then of course I wanna see if I can scoop out this middle piece. Well, that's quite moist. <laughs> Maybe I should have cut a smaller piece, but. Yeah. Hey, Maxwell, can you come here, sweetie? Yeah. Can you grab a fork? Yeah. Oh, I'll Gabby, I said Maxwell, honey. You're fine in the bathroom. Okay, grab a fork. Ooh, am I gonna eat the strawberry? I want you to taste the cake. Now, it is a moist cake. Come around here by me. I wanna know what you think of it. Yeah? Hang on. Mm -hmm. It's very, very sweet. I will say that much. But pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you guys say something? Yeah. Bye. Oh my gosh. Bye.